This is Edexcel Further Pure 1, Calculus, Further Methods in Calculus, and in particular the derivation and use of the Taylor series. To be able to understand this video, you will need to be familiar with second year A-level differentiation techniques and second year Further Pure Core, the Maclaurin series. If you don't know either of those, then it's worth going back and understanding them before pursuing this video any further. The Maclaurin series allows us to approximate the value of f of x, provided we can work out all the derivatives of f, and they have a value at zero. And if this series converges, then the limit it will converge to is the actual value of f of x. So the more terms we end up putting on, the more accurate our estimate of f of x will be. However, some Maclaurin series are only valid for a certain range of x values. And also, the further away x lies from zero, the greater the number of terms required to achieve a given accuracy. These problems can be overcome by using expansion based on x equals a, rather than this expansion, which is based on an expansion where x equals zero. When we replace zero with a, this then becomes the Taylor series. Here is the Taylor series, and it's generated from the Maclaurin series by replacing x with x plus a, and then evaluating all the derivatives of the function as well as the function itself at a. There is a second version of the Taylor series where we replace all the x's with x minus a. So we're now evaluating the function at x because we have x minus a plus a gives us just x. And then all the powers of x are then replaced with powers of x minus a. The validity rules for the Taylor series are very similar to the Maclaurin series. We have to uh, evaluate the derivative of the function at a, and it must exist, and it must be finite. Uh, and also the series has to converge. In this example, we're asked to show that the Taylor expansion of tan of x about x equals pi over four is given by this series. We're only asked to go as far as the third derivative and the cube expression of x minus pi over four. Hence, we have an approximately equals to, because it is an approximation, and it's alluded to here in that we're looking for an approximation in the second part of tan 36 degrees. And 36 degrees is actually quite close to where we've based our expansion around because pi over 4 is 45 degrees. For the first part of the example, we need to evaluate 10x and its derivatives at the value x equals pi over 4, and we need to go as far as the third derivative. So evaluating tan of pi over 4 for the first part gives us 1. The derivative of tan of x is sec squared. Evaluating that at pi over 4, well, cos of x is 1 over sec of x. Cos of pi over 4 is 1 over root 2. Inverting gives us root 2, so sec pi over 4 is root 2. Squaring gives us the 2. Differentiating sec squared, we can apply the product rule. So the derivative of sec x x is sec x tan x and leaving one of the sec x's alone in our sec squared x gives us a sec x at the front and then we do the other one and that gives us the 2 multiplying out gives us 2 sec squared x tan x. Evaluating that at pi over 4 well we know sec squared is 2 we know tan x is 1 2 times 2 times 1 gives us the 4. Differentiating 2 sec squared x tan x, again we can use the product rule. We end up taking sec squared x and differentiating that, well we've already worked that out. So we know that that is 2 sec squared x tan x. 
So we're differentiating the first part, the sec squared uh, x, leaving 10x alone and 2 alone. And the same again for the alternative part. We leave the 2 sec squared x alone, differentiate 10x, and it gives us sec squared x. Multiplying out and collecting terms, we end up with this expression. And if we start to evaluate that at pi over 4, well, we know sec squared x at pi over 4 is 2. Tan x is 1, so tan squared is 1. Sec to the power 4 is sec squared squared. So we know that sec squared is 2. Squaring 2 gives us 4 for that. And we've got 4 times 2 times 1 plus 2 times 4. That ends up giving us the 16. Then we substitute those values into our series expansion. Uh, we've got 1 for the function at pi over 4. The derivative of the function at pi over 4 was 2. We multiply that by x minus pi over 4. Um, the second derivative at pi over 4 was 4, but at this one we have to divide by 2 factorial. So 4 divided by 2 factorial gives us 2. 16 is our third derivative at pi over 4, and at this time we're dividing by 3 factorial. 16 divided by 3 factorial reduces down to 8 over 3, and we're multiplying by x minus pi over 4 cubed. And that's the series that we wanted to generate. In the second part of the example, we're asked to use our series to approximate a value of 1036. 36 degrees is pi over 5 radians. We then need to evaluate our x minus pi over 4, so pi over 5 minus pi over 4 gives us negative pi over 20. Then we can substitute that value straight into each of the brackets in our series expansion. And then you just end up multiplying those out. And that gives the uh, approximate value for 1036 equal to 1 minus pi over 10 plus pi squared over 200 minus pi cubed over 3000. That was Edexcel Further Pure 1, Calculus Further Methods in Calculus, the derivation and use of the Taylor series. Next up, the use of series expansions to find limits.